We found it. I think we found it, folks. Itty bitty clam poly. First bass of the new season. Not very big, but we are on the board. Thanks for playing, dude. Ow! Hey, man, look over my thumb. Bud, bud. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Well, well, well. How you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. My name is Luke. I'm based out of Southeast Minnesota and I love to fish for literally anything. And today we have a special treat here, hopefully. What we're gonna be doing is ice fishing. Yeah, that's that's right. Ice fishing. It is season. We are here. What's let's see what the date is. What's the current date today? Hmm. It is December 2nd. December 2nd, 2023. And boys and girls, I'm excited because we, I know we have some ice on some of these smaller lakes and some of these smaller ponds. But the question is, how thick is this ice going to be? Now, just to back up a little bit, give you guys some context. So a couple days ago, someone told me about this little ditch pond in town. It's tiny. This ditch pond, no more than five feet. It's got to be like the smallest ditch pond that I've fished in a while. But it's freaking awesome. It has bass, bluegill, calf. It's got all kinds of stuff in it, right? I went out and poked some holes and I found some safe ice. Some boys and girls, we were fishing, caught some fish, had some fun, and I got that little itch to go back out and do some more ice fishing. So now, fast forward a couple more days, me and you right here talking face to face, and I'm thinking, ooh, okay. So if that little ditch pond had enough safe ice a couple days ago, and we've had some colder nights since then, there's gotta be more places that are fishable, right? But folks, this is that weird time of year. Some of these places are safe, some of them are not, but we're gonna find out together. Me, you, you, me, me, you. Me, you, me, you, me, you. Yes, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go out ice fishing. We're gonna poke some holes, see if we can find some fish. Let's freaking go. 2023, 2024 ice season. We're gonna put this in the books, folks. Let's freaking go. Uh, right away, it's looking a little sketchy here. Got my little sled with all my goods. I'm gonna leave that here. Ooh. Okay. Um, okay, that's not, yikes, we're going to go this way, okay, 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 not the best, but I mean, yeah, that's, okay, it's getting better as we go out here. I think we're gonna grab the slide. Let's grab the slide. Now this is where it gets a little dicey. It looks like it's kind of, it's like it's formed and then it thawed and then it formed again. Yeah, see that's not super good to be honest with you guys. Let's come on a little bit here. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, okay. Let's drill a quick hole here. Wow. 
Okay, actually, that's like that's like three, almost four inches of ice right there. That is super impressive. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's about six feet right here. Eh, let's just drop down. Let's just see what happens here. This is officially the second time I'm out ice fishing of the year. This is a pretty good feeling. You guys know that feeling, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, I just had a fish on. Hold on here. Hold on. Oh, 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 I got fish coming in, guys. I got fish coming in. Got him. Oh, goodness gracious. Tiny, tiny freaking gill. Yikes. Oh, he hammered, though. Look at that. Absolutely hammered that thing. Let's get this guy undone here. I'm gonna take off my gloves. Okay. Oh, there you go, bud. Nope, you gotta go back in the hole, dude. Go back in the hole. So all I'm using here... This is just basically a, a tungsten jig, one of those tiny micro tungsten jigs with the little soft plastic. And uh, it's just got a little bit of a tail action on the end there, and that's all I'm using. Got him. Ooh, that's a little bit better, Gil. Look at that. What a beauty. So not a keeper, but that's all right. We're just out here looking for some new holes and finding fish. Like I said, folks, this spot right here is only about five, six feet. So usually with these little ditch ponds here, you're not going to get more than six or seven feet deep. And, you know, that's fine. It works. These fish can tolerate the shallow water, obviously. I mean, they're thriving and eating but that's one cool thing about living here around uh, rochester minnesota there's a lot of ditch ponds and smaller bodies of water that you know people kind of overlook they don't really think to ever try it because it just looks quite literally like a ditch pond but uh i'll tell you guys what a lot of these places man they have fish it's just a matter of how big are they and what species are they that was a good hit that's a good fish, that's a good fish. Hold on, hold on, my drag, my drag. Oh, it's a little bass, look at that. Oh, ain't that freaking cool. Came up out of nowhere and smoked that little jig. Awesome. Bass number, I guess two officially. I caught one the other day, ice fishing, but first one out of this little dinky ditch pond. See you later, bud. Another one. Yeah, tiny gill. Okay. Can we stop catching you guys? Tell your bigger siblings that we're here. Come on, let's get some of these bigger fish. Gee, me Christmas. The way these bluegill hit it, I mean, golly, you would think it was a big old bass or crappie I mean golly man these bluegill are no joke got him okay a little bit better but still not quite what we're looking for here there he is Ooh, a crappie. What? I did not know there were crappie in here. Look at that. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay. There you go, bud. The bass, crappie, and bluegill? Sign me up. Okay. All right. Let's move to a new uh, ditch pond. 
But number one was a semi-success. I'll have to come back later in the season, maybe uh, throw down some cup bait or something. I know there's really big bullhead and catfish in here, so. Cool little place, spot number one. Officially caught some fish. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, lake number two. I absolutely took a freaking tumble though, walking down. I was coming down this way, holding the sled, and I freaking wrecked it. Absolutely freaking wrecked it. Not really a whole lot I can do at this point, except, uh, you know, kind of leave it as is. I don't really have anything to keep it safe. Can't tell if these are like up and looking. Ooh. There's one. What is it? Oh, it's a crappie. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. On that freaking pinhead minnow. Almost instant. Drop down. There they were. Beautiful fish. Let's go. All I'm using here is a pinhead minnow with a little clam uh, moly or moli. Soft plastic tipped on it. These freaking fish. Oh my gosh. These are fish. Another crappie. Dude, they're like instantly shooting up for this thing. That is crazy. Let's do that again, huh? It looks like it still shows about 10 feet, but it's just the whole half of the Vexlar screen is totally red. Another one. You got it? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Another one. There he is. Wow, oh, it's a nice crop. That's a nice crop. Boom! Let's freaking go! Awesome! There you go, dude. Got him! Oh my gosh, folks! And they're all crappy. This is crazy. Not very big, but dude, who cares? Honestly. Oh, there you go, bud. Let's drop that back down here. So see some more. They're just stacked. They're suspended. Oh, they're not right off the bottom, but they're also not super high up in the water column. They're they're kind of in about I want to say six seven feet of water. So not super low down, but not super high. They're just kind of stacked in that bottom that bottom center piece there. I tell you what, early ice fishing is always fun. These fish are just always super aggressive. Another nice crappie. Look at that. Look at that. Wabam. Awesome. There you go, bud. Yep, here he comes. Yep. <laughs> Not bad. Dude, they are absolutely engulfing this thing. Look at that. Look at that, that is crazy. There you go, bud. Good thing I brought some pliers. I would have been screwed. Drop it back down. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Nice. This guy on the hook here. Awesome. There you go, bud. We got some action. Yep. Right below the hole. Nice crappie. That is awesome. Okay. We're just chasing the herd here at this point. We're basically just going from where we started, walking back down and punching some more holes as we go. Seems to be working. Yep, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Got him. Another crappie. This is a crappie paradise, folks. Holy cow. Awesome. There you go, bud. Oh, oh here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes. Yep, not very big. Another crappie, though. That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful fish. They are freaking aggressive. Holy cow. This is crazy. Another beautiful little crappie. Awesome. It looks like the initial school that I first found when I got here, it looks like they're gone. They cleaned out. But we might be able to get a couple more here. That's the one thing that kind of sucks about uh, early ice here is these fish are still on the move. You know, obviously everything's frozen over and there's no open water, but I think these fish still have that mentality that they're feeding, they're, you know, they're moving around, they're looking for different places to go, and they're not really quite hunkered down. And that's very evident here. I'm just, I'm looking at it on the Vexilar. You know, when we first showed up, this whole section below me was full of fish. It was just red all the way down. And now it's nothing. There's nothing. There's literally nothing on the screen here. It's just me and my bait. Ooh. Hmm, I wonder what that was. That wasn't off the bottom. Oh, here he comes again. There he is. Another crappie. There we go. Awesome. That's the funny thing about crappie, guys. They just, they're so funny with how they swim. They Sometimes they'll be around the bottom. Sometimes they'll come up suspended. Sometimes they'll be right below the hole. Just one of those weird fish that you can really never quite predict. Yes, he will. And he got... Oh, there he goes. Oh my god, I didn't even know I had him on. He chased it up and smacked it. Another one. Ooh, that's a better fish. Oh no. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, let's go. Sweet. Sweet. Ooh, he was on. Gosh dang it. I got that one. Not very big. But still fun. There you go, buddy. That's a yes. They won't eat it without the soft plastic. Let's go. Nice crop. Nice crop. What do you guys think about that? Is that absolutely freaking awesome? Beautiful. There you go, bud. goodness it is getting cold fast Woo. what a freaking day though first official full day of ice fishing on the books i think the biggest takeaway for today though is honestly just we are back in the ice season the ice season is here we have some warmer weather coming up here in the southeast minnesota area here in the next week or so but honestly guys i mean it won't be long before all these lakes completely frozen and i cannot freaking wait good golly it's gonna be a good year i hope you guys wherever you are if you're not ice fishing yet i hope you guys have all your gear ready everything's right 
to rock and roll for that first ice and i hope you guys are able to get out as soon as possible being safe obviously and can get out there catch some fish have a little bit of fun it's gonna be a good season guys but i'm gonna go home make some dinner hang out with my dog have a good rest of my evening here but thank you guys so much for watching as always I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Every single one of y'all. I love y'all. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace!